sabotage and in the news today Fox News stars fight over Trump That's some weird picture here of probably a Fox News reporter and some some dickwood uh, uh, Sean Himity oh, Sean 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 Hannity accused his colleague Morgan Kelly of being in league with Hillary Clinton. I probably you lot, you make us pop. Everyone knows who Hillary Clinton is. You may, your Fox News probably know what who the other two are. Apparently, just thirty two days to go into American elections. Uh, who would be making next president of the United States? Hang on. Hang on. Can't. Amer um, Barack Obama stay run too? Or did he try to or got kicked out or something? I don't know. Anyway. Uh, apparently. On Wednesday. Uh, pundit, 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 p u i n o p u n d i t s lined up on Wednesday to claim Mike Pence the winner, winner of some kind of debate, but uh, some Tim. Kane failed to land a punch. Who the funk it? To be frank, I never follow American politics. Then again, I don't follow any politics, to, to be frank. Alright, so there's a little video of Donald Trump being a complete lemon. Well, when I say lemon, I mean some tangerine, some orange. A fucking orange with a bloody fake wig on top. Standing at some kind of pediment. To trying to talk with a fucking shit look on his face. Like, yeah, kind of, kind of look of a like, yeah, I fucked me sister type of look on his face. Disgusted bastard. Uh, apparently the BBC had a take on it, saying something about Wednesday was a day or the Trump team could enjoy. The, the last time I checked, Trump's team was trying to give the middle finger to the fucking bastard. Uh, that's the... That was the last time I heard. That's fucking air in my face. In my fight, um, eyes. Damn you, hair. And apparently, instead, that they could bask in the glory of aftermath, of the afterglow, some might say, of a strong debate performed by heads. Um, to each. Some tweets in from Sean Hannity saying you should be mad at Hillary Clinton, clearly you support her and real Donald Trump. Did you talk to you? Uh, the the O oh, the, the letter to represent you and apparently some who do Brits back we back no one. We give the middle finger to you or the American president concerning they old bastards, they all do fuck fuck all they, all they do is go the fucking war. They drag us in through the fucking mud. You bastards. Uh, but let's see what this article says. As some who share the same hardship 
hairdresser as Donald, our friends in Birmingham, that's in West Midling, Midlands, not in Alabama, big fucking difference, Birmingham is Britain, Birmingham is in Alabama, ham, not hum, Birmingham, hum, hum, spelled ham, but it's pronounced hum, when people say Birmingham, they mean West Midlands. Midlands. When people say Birmingham, ham, as in the meat from a pig, they must be. Then they are talking about Alabama. Go that good. Anyway, some clues from these random quotes saying someone shares the same. Hairdresser with Donald Trump. With Donald! It's like the Iraq War. The Iran Iraq War. You want them both to fucking lose. Kick in the face or kick in the crotch. Just so I can see the president of North Korea's face. Well, this prick will always be a prick, no matter. Who. Like, yeah, uh, yeah, bastard type of fucking twat. He needs to fucking die. And I am volunteering to chop his head off. No, really, I am. Anyway, on the next new piece of news, Syria war is. I, the IS bomb kills rebels at Turkey border crossing. You bastards! You fucking bastards! Right, now come on, come now. Yes, 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 yes. Apparently, like around 29 people, most of them, mostly fight, fighters of the rebels, were killed. Yes, were killed in this bombing of the orders you bastards and apparently some activists say yeah, well, well, see the activists say anyway that's what they say and then again you do not go around bombing people just because they cross the fucking border you can't you know, it's like bomb early you know Blaming someone for farting in an elevator. You don't know who it fucking well did once, but but since there's a lot of people there, you can't be sure. So you can't point fucking fingers, or in this case, bombs. You bastards! You fucking bastards! Anyway, the I S said a suicide car bombing had. Targeted a rebel convoy. Damn you, rebel. Damn you, suicidal bastards. Bastards! About 32 rebels were killed in such a suicidal attack claimed by the IS at the Atmer Crossing. That's a fucking map, I have no idea what the fuck to make of it. You know, probably can. Because I'm going to link every fucking news story that it fucking is in this fit video in the, the description. Yeah, so, ne ne so next story, a bit weird one. Australian budgie, na a budgie 9F1 strip is freed from, freed by Mal Malaysia court. Yes, nine Australians were arrested. Uh, for, apparently, nine Australians were arrested for stripping at the Malaysian Grand Prix, pre or whatever it's pronounced. And they walked free. Bit of a weird one. Be 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 charged for the pu public nuisance. 
which carries a fine but no jail time, apparently. Uh, Budgie is the predicted uh, name of the Budgie here. Small, small Australian pallet, apparently. Uh, yes, yes, whatever. To be frank, I have no interest in Formula One. So, only most best news ever. If you can counter that, I do. A new space industry fellowship for women aims to address the field's gender equality. Inequality. But of course, newspaper thing, online thing. Picture of pretty young, pretty woman smiling in a cockpit of a jet. And apparently, La Laurie Garver. Remembers that when she was deputy of was deputy of administrator at NASA in 2013, which was only about three years ago. Give or take. Uh, well, it was held at table, 25 seats, three of which were filled by women. There should be more women. Damn it, equality. Equal equality. You men are bastards! Fucking bastards! <laughs> yeah, and I mean that literally. Some men are bastards. Anyway, the well, some women beaten beaten the odds and did high ranking positions. Uh, apparently, CEO Marlene Hewson, SpaceX president of. Gion, Gion Shortwell and Graver herself, for example. To the end, Graver Group Space Industry Ventures have funded a fellowship in memory of Brooke Owens, a pilot and space policy expert who died this year of cancer at the age of 36. Uh, apparently, fellowship provide on will provide undergraduate women studying engineering uh, with substantive summer jobs and professional mentors. Applications are being accepted until the December the fifth of December. So you get better. There is a link on this uh, news article. Once you find it, it's in blue, so you can click on it. Better get, get it there. And it is year 2016, so if you're looking to apply, then in 2017 or later, you're out of shit. Yes. I'm glad there's more people, more women going in, hoping to go into this field, field of expertise. Good feet. I give my thumbs up and a good pat on the back. Anyway, I shall leave this video here. All links to all four articles down below. Until next time, people. Of people of the interweb and beyond. I am the ghost I taught. Farewell.